Good morning, church. It's Friday morning. Take your Bibles and let's go to John chapter number 10. We've looked at three of the statements of Jesus that he says, I am, using a modifier. He says, I'm the bread of life, I'm the light of the world, and I am the door by which you enter in. Now we're going to look at one of the more important ones. They're all important, but uh, we're going to look at one of the ones that gives us the abundant life, and that is that Jesus is the good shepherd. Now this is referencing back to what David said in Psalm 23. When David said, the Lord is my shepherd, I shall not want. He makes me to lie down in the green pastures. He leads me beside the still waters. He restores my soul. He leads me in the paths of righteousness for his namesake. And yea, though I walk through the valley of the shadow of death, I will fear no evil for you're with me. Your rod, your staff, they comfort me. You prepare a table before me in the presence of my enemies. My cup runneth over. My, you know in my head with oil, my cup runneth over. Surely goodness and mercy shall follow me all the days of my life, and I'll dwell in the house of the Lord forever. Now, I said that all because that would be on the mind of every Jewish individual. When David wrote that as a good shepherd, as a shepherd of his sheep, David looked to God as his shepherd. And here Jesus is saying, I am the good shepherd. So again, this is a statement when he says, I am, he's claiming to be the God of the Old Testament, the God who uh, appeared to David and, and led David, was David's shepherd. But Jesus says it this way in verse number 11, I am the good shepherd. The good shepherd gives his life for the sheep. So this is the shepherd of Psalm 23. He is one who has come into the world to give his life in atonement for the sins of many. Verse 12, but a hireling, he does not have, is not the shepherd. One who does not own the sheep sees the wolf coming and he leaves the sheep and he flees. The wolf catches the sheep and scatters them. The hireling flees because he is a hireling and does not care about the sheep. Now that's a shot at the Pharisees and oftentimes pastors and priests and leaders who pastor the flocks but have no real concern over the sheep, no real concern for the welfare, the safety of the sheep. Verse 14, Jesus said, I am the good shepherd, and I know my sheep, and am known by my own. As the Father knows me, even so I know the Father, and I lay down my life for the sheep. Using this illustration, Jesus says, not only do we enter into the sheepfold by him, that he is the gate, the door by which we enter into Christ and enter into eternity, but he's the one who leads us. He not only saves us, he indwells us. He leads us everywhere to the green pastures, the still waters. He restores our souls. He leads us to the paths of righteousness for his name's sake. And so as a good shepherd, he guides us each and every day. We need to realize that as you go through the day, God is with you. He, he's your Savior. But not only that, He wants to guide you. He wants to be the shepherd. And so listen to His voice and follow Him because He will lay down His life for us. That's how much He cares. He says, I lay down my life for the sheep. Now again, that is a strange thing because usually it's sheep who die for the shepherd either as a sacrifice or as a meal so that they can have something to eat. The sheep are the ones who provide wool. They always are the ones who provide for the shepherd. And here Jesus says, no, no, I'm the good shepherd and I provide for my own first life, then the abundant life, and then I lay down my life so that you might have everlasting life. Jesus is the good shepherd. He's the wonderful shepherd who gives us his life and atonement for our sins. Let's pray together. Father, we thank you that you were willing to send your son into the world to be our savior, to be the one who would pay for our sins, the one who would sacrifice his life on our behalf that we might have everlasting life. Help us every day to follow the Good Shepherd. Help us not to stumble along the way. Help us not to get off the path, but follow always 
the path of righteousness for your namesake. Amen.